if there was one whiskey that I would recommend to a newbie to Isla Whiskies, this would be it. Welcome to another episode of Eric Waite Whiskey Studies, and in this video I'm going to do a review of the Bunahaven 12-year-old Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. This is, I would say, close running with the uh, Ardbeg 10-year-old, my favorite Isla whiskey in terms of a quality price ratio. So, if you are new to whiskey and if you haven't experienced whiskeys from Isla, this is actually where I would begin and I'll tell you why right after these notes. But a Hobbin 12 year old Isla single malt scotch whiskey. It is aged for a minimum of 12 years in ex sherry and ex bourbon cast. It is lightly peated at around 3 ppm. It is unchill filtered, has natural color, it is bottled at 46.3% alcohol by volume, and sells for anywhere between $45 and $75 here in the United States. So the reason why that I would recommend this, particularly to a newbie and even if you're an oldie to Scotch whiskeys, is some people say it's an unpeated whiskey, but it, it, there is a 3 ppm. It is barely there. And the sherry uh, influence is so intense, it sort of masks the peat. But when peat and sherry come together, it creates a third element, sort of a savory element that I absolutely love. So it's there, it's just blended in with the sherry notes, giving us a, just a very unique, delicious factor. So I know some people, maybe they need to sort of tiptoe into peat. And so if that's where you're at, this is what I'm gonna recommend. Second reason why is the price range. Goes for 50, 60 bucks, you know, somewhere around there. Still well below uh, $100. And easy on the quality price ratio, it is definitely, um, and particularly in comparison to everything else that's on the market, still punching above its weight. So let's take a look at it. A deep, dark, rich caramel uh, color with a little bit of uh, shiny copper and bronze in there. When I say caramel color, I don't mean they're adding E150. Medium plus intense aromas. The aromas, you don't have to fight to get them out of there. And really, really intense and concentrated aromas. The sherry cask is really making itself known. If you're a sherry cask fan whiskey, so you like, a, you know, Glendronic, Macallan, and so forth, this is a whiskey you're going to love. In fact, in terms of all the Isla uh, whiskeys that I have had that use sherry, this is one of the more intense sherry influenced. Uh, whiskeys on Isla. You get the fig, the dates, the raisins, caramels, chocolate. There's a savory note of like a barbecue rub uh, that you put on a tri-tip, a little brown sugar, your kosher salt, your herbs and spices. There's another element there that reminds me a little bit of a baklava. Uh, if you don't know what baklava is, it's uh, a treat from Greece, but there's a Turkish, Turkish version, there's a Jordanian version, there's a uh, an Israeli version. Uh, there's a lot of different <sighs> recipes within the whole uh, Middle Eastern, Near East uh, regions that are very, very, very similar. Basically, you've got uh, layers of very thin pastry with brown sugar, nuts, and honey, honey, uh, really, really delicious treats. I definitely get that going on here. So I got some spice going on there. Maybe a little bit of pepper. Cinnamon, but it's cinnamon on a pastry after the pastry's been cooked. Definitely a lot of vanilla. A little bit of orange citrus there. Maybe orange with a, like, a little clove st uh, stuck into it. And definitely got that salty sea breeze there. So with the chocolate and salty sea breeze and maybe just a little bit of nuttiness there, you get that candy bar uh, character going on. All right, on the palate. Mmm. Love, love, love this whiskey. Now let's, I'll speed this up, but let's just pause and experience the flavors and the length of finish. 
2,000 years later. It is still going on. This whiskey is superb, not only in terms of its depth of flavor, its range of flavor, its development. It has a lot going on from the front to the middle and then to the finish, and the finish has, is really, really, really long. It has a nice, sort of a glossy, silky uh, mouthfeel that really coats the mouth. So on the palate, the nose is confirmed. I get the sweetness of the, like the brown sugar notes, the baklava notes, uh, the fig, the dates, the raisins, a little bit of orange citrus there. Really, really nice spice, some chocolates, a little bit of nuttiness, that saltiness is there. Do I notice any peat on the palate? If tasted blind, would I say, hey, I think this has some peat in it? Not necessarily. There's no smoke character. There's none of that campfire character that you uh, think of uh, when you experience uh, Isla whiskeys. But as I said before, when peat or uh, smoke meets uh, sherry cast, it becomes like a third element so that the peat becomes super, super, super uh, interwoven to it. So this is an absolutely superb whiskey, one in which you're, gonna, you're not going to buy a bottle. You're going to buy a bottle, and then you're going to buy a bottle. And then when that's done, you're going to buy another bottle. And when that one's done, you're going to buy another bottle. And when that one's done, you're going to buy another bottle. It's just as it do with Ardbeg 10, this is a bottle you're going to keep buying. This is going to be one you always want to have on the shelves. Someone's new to whiskey. If you're an experienced whiskey drinker, this is one you're going to want to introduce to newbies, people who are just sort of getting into Scotch whiskeys because it doesn't break the bank and it's absolutely spectacular. What am I going to give it in terms of a score? I'm going to go a solid 92 points. I could go higher, but I'm going to go solid 92 points. And if you're looking for gifts for someone to buy to introduce to whiskey, absolutely, this would be uh, an awesome gift to give as well. Just an absolutely superb whiskey. Alrighty, uh, I, I want to thank my uh, Patreons for supporting the channel and for joining my little group. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I take it personally. Even if it's just a buck a month, it's not about the money. It's the thought. Uh, that really, really counts. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, but you like my content, I want to ask that you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and other social network channels, and ring the bell so you'll be notified when I go live or post a new video. All right, until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.